Cryptocurrency halving is a significant event that occurs in the life cycle of certain cryptocurrencies, most notably Bitcoin. It is a process that reduces the reward for mining new blocks by half, hence the term halving. This event is built into the code of the cryptocurrency to occur at regular intervals, typically after a certain number of blocks have been mined. For Bitcoin, this happens every 210,000 blocks, which is roughly every four years. Before we begin, please like and subscribe to our channel. Purpose and Impact The primary purpose of halving is to control the supply of new coins entering the market, thereby helping to prevent inflation. Cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin have a capped supply, meaning there is a maximum number of coins that will ever exist. For Bitcoin, this cap is set at 21 million coins. Halving gradually reduces the rate at which new coins are created, ensuring that the final Bitcoin won't be mined until around the year 2140. Halving can have a significant impact on the cryptocurrency market. Historically, halving events have been followed by an increase in the price of Bitcoin. This is often attributed to the reduced supply of new coins making existing coins more scarce and therefore potentially more valuable, assuming demand remains constant or increases. However, the exact impact of halving can be influenced by a wide range of factors, including market sentiment, investor behavior, and broader economic conditions. Mechanism The mechanism of cryptocurrency halving is deeply ingrained in the core protocol of certain digital currencies, with Bitcoin being the most prominent example. This programmed event occurs automatically after a predetermined number of blocks have been mined, effectively reducing the block reward given to miners by half. Originally, Bitcoin miners received 50 BTC for each block they successfully added to the blockchain. However, this reward is halved at regular intervals, approximately every four years, as part of a deflationary monetary policy designed to mimic the scarcity and value preservation seen in precious metals like gold. The halving mechanism ensures that the total supply of Bitcoin will never exceed 21 million coins, thus introducing a predictable element of scarcity that is intended to counteract inflationary pressures. As the block reward diminishes over time, the incentive structure for miners shifts, gradually placing more emphasis on transaction fees as the primary form of compensation. This gradual reduction in block rewards is a critical component of Bitcoin's economic model, serving not only to limit the rate at which new Bitcoins are introduced into the system, but also to encourage the sustainability and security of the network as it matures. The precision and predictability of the halving events underscore the algorithmic nature of cryptocurrencies, distinguishing them from traditional fiat currencies with their often unpredictable monetary policies. Historical Context The historical context of cryptocurrency halving is rooted in the origins of Bitcoin, created by the enigmatic figure or group known as Satoshi Nakamoto. When Bitcoin was launched in 2009, the concept of halving was already embedded into its code, drawing inspiration from the way natural resources like gold become harder and more expensive to mine over time. This mechanism was designed to control the supply of new coins, ensuring that Bitcoin would have a finite supply of 21 million coins, a stark contrast to traditional fiat currencies, which can be printed in unlimited quantities by governments. The first halving occurred in 2012, reducing the block reward from 50 BTC to 25 BTC, and has since occurred every approximately four years. Each halving event has historically led to speculative increases in Bitcoin's price, reflecting the market's reaction to the reduced supply of new Bitcoins entering circulation. This cycle of halving and its effects on Bitcoin's economy underscore the cryptocurrency's foundational principles of decentralization and deflationary supply, distinguishing it from traditional monetary systems and embedding it within a broader narrative of digital innovation and financial autonomy. Future Halvings and Long-Term Implications Future halvings in cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin are set to continue at predetermined intervals until the maximum supply cap is reached, 
which for Bitcoin is projected to occur around the year 2140. These events will progressively diminish the block rewards for miners, eventually leading to an era where transaction fees will represent the primary incentive for mining activities. This shift is anticipated to ensure the long-term security and viability of the blockchain network, as the incentive to process transactions remains intact even in the absence of significant block rewards. However, this transition also raises important questions about the network's ability to maintain its decentralized nature. As rewards decrease, there's a potential for mining to become less profitable for smaller participants, possibly leading to increased centralization among larger mining operations. Additionally, the eventual reliance on transaction fees may necessitate adjustments in the fee market to balance minor incentives with user costs. These long-term implications underscore the delicate balance between maintaining the network's security, ensuring minor participation, and providing an affordable and efficient transaction environment for users, all of which are critical for the sustained adoption and use of cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin. Criticisms and Challenges The halving mechanism in cryptocurrencies, while innovative, is not without its criticisms and challenges. One significant concern is the potential for increased centralization, a scenario where mining becomes dominated by a small number of large-scale operations due to the diminishing rewards that make it less viable for smaller miners. This centralization could undermine the foundational principle of decentralization in cryptocurrencies, leading to vulnerabilities, including increased risks of a 51% attack where a single entity gains control of the majority of the network's mining power. Additionally, the reduced block rewards post-halving raise questions about the long-term sustainability of the mining incentive system. As rewards decrease, the reliance on transaction fees to compensate miners might lead to higher costs for users, potentially affecting the usability and adoption of cryptocurrencies for everyday transactions. Moreover, the anticipation and aftermath of halving events can induce significant price volatility, complicating the use of cryptocurrencies as a stable store of value. These challenges highlight the need for ongoing innovation and adaptation within the cryptocurrency ecosystem to address the evolving dynamics of mining economics, network security, and user experience. Halving in 2024 The 2024 Bitcoin halving event, projected to occur around May, marks a significant milestone in the cryptocurrency's life cycle. This will be the fourth such event since Bitcoin's inception. During this halving, the reward for mining a new block on the Bitcoin blockchain will decrease from 6.25 BTC to 3.125 BTC. This reduction in block rewards is a core feature of Bitcoin's deflationary economic model, designed to mimic the scarcity and hardening properties of precious metals, thereby controlling inflation and enhancing value over time. As we approach the 2024 halving, speculation and interest within the cryptocurrency community and among investors are expected to intensify. Historically, halving events have led to increased price volatility in the months leading up to and following the event. This volatility is often driven by speculative trading and investor sentiment, as market participants anticipate the reduced supply of new Bitcoins to exert upward pressure on prices. The 2024 halving also arrives at a time of growing institutional interest in cryptocurrencies, further complicating the dynamics of supply and demand. Institutional investors, with their substantial buying power and long-term investment horizons, could influence Bitcoin's price movements in more pronounced ways than in previous cycles. Moreover, the halving will likely spotlight discussions around the sustainability of mining operations. As block rewards diminish, the revenue streams of miners will increasingly depend on transaction fees. This shift could lead to a revaluation of mining practices, energy consumption, and the efficiency of mining hardware as miners seek to maintain profitability under the new reward regime. The long-term implications of the 2024 halving extend beyond immediate price effects and minor profitability. They touch on the very nature of Bitcoin's economic model, the balance between scarcity and accessibility, and the cryptocurrency's role as a digital store of value. As with previous halvings, the 2024 event will be closely watched by participants across the financial and technological spectrum, 
offering insights into the evolving narrative of digital currencies in the global financial landscape. Conclusion Cryptocurrency halving is a critical event that reflects the unique economic models underpinning digital currencies like Bitcoin. While halvings can contribute to increased scarcity and potential price appreciation, remember to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful content on the evolving world of cryptocurrencies. Together, let's demystify the digital currency landscape, one halving at a time.